Moving on to the caddy video. All right, this is another one that I've seen more than a couple people comment on and recommend. Um, the horrible world of Connect games. Two years ago, 17 Connect games, one tired caddy. <laughs> uh, he always, he's always tired at the end of the video. He's just lost his mind, just lost it, tired. <clears throat> You see the Sonic Riders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see because um, I did have the first Connect, And to be fair, there was a couple of things I enjoyed with the Connect, But it was just such a... I don't know. There were so many of the things you could do with the Connect. I wasn't really interested in. There was like maybe a couple of games that actually interested me and made me think the connect you know worked but eh. yeah let's go ahead and watch this caddy video horrible world of connect games also let's see if we um can spot the neighbors in this one a neighbor check-in <laughs> welcome back arrow welcome back God. This is Jim. Oh, he God. lives in the skip. <laughs> we're off to a great start. We're off to a great. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, so we're starting off. I guess technically we're starting off with a neighbor check-in because we know the neighbors saw that. They had to. Have. Um. So. The neighbors are probably not okay. Aching head. Local dumpster what if you I rented that. Yesterday? That's an interesting hey, question. Head. Or is it one of the neighbors dumpsters? No. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You're the funniest funny on all of YouTube. <laughs> you are such a funt. I don't want a, a cop. Funt. Give me something with a little more Woof. Can you say please? No, I can say woof. Why are you being so rude? <laughs> this Shut poor up. neighbor's Come therapist. Oh real... my god. Ram! You know what? Screw off. Forget the coffee. Take this and shove it up your ass. Well. You know he says that, but I bet you someone out there actually did shove one up their ass. Just because. I bet you someone, at least one person in the world that shoved that thing right up their ass. <laughs> Ew. It Don't do like that, please, no. Ever experienced before. Connect for Xbox 360. Oh god. 2010. BP spilled a load of oil over the Gulf of Mexico. A five-year-old Irish kid was falsely accused of stealing a bag of crisps. Mel Gibson leaves a voicemail message with lots of N-words, and Microsoft what? released the Xbox 360 Connect to a very, very unsuspecting public. I'm playing it. Originally known as Project Natal during development, which honestly makes it sound like they wanted to give the Xbox a belly button or a nose, the Kinect's aim yeah. was simple, to bring you into video games like no other console had before, by forcing you to stand up and wave your arms around like you're having a moment. <laughs> oh, what else makes you feel like an epic gamer more than smacking your children in the head? <laughs> <laughs> was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. The amount, the amount of videos that did come out of, like, adults literally just backhanding or kicking or just body slamming them kids are just n too numerous it was <laughs> it's bad <laughs> I mean, let's be real these things here uh, they're just too hard what do you what do you want me to do with this hold it nah mate microsoft's connect your body is now the controller <laughs> Please hold me. To be honest, though, I do have to give Microsoft credit here because, all things considered, the Kinect itself was a success and continues yeah. to be used with Xbox One systems even today. Okay, fine, it wasn't giving the Nintendo Wii a run for its money or the Nintendo Wii 
but just watch <laughs> this demonstration at E3 and tell me that you don't want a connect right now. Give us. That's enough. Please. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's <laughs> acting. Oh, please stop it. I can't this take kid's it anymore. Acting if you right lick now. me one more time, I'll skin you and make you a handbag. And that is where the story should end, shouldn't it? Xbox has also, some exciting new technology. Like I've watched some history stuff about like some documentary stuff about the Xbox Connect. Um and to be fair to them, the Connect, like they actually did create something that's still to this day helps people with like I think in the medical field, like in science fields, it's like I, I can't remember what specifically, but it's like it helps a lot of people in certain medical fields. And some people with certain, um, like, uh, diseases and stuff. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to think about, right? Like, not only the Kinect, but, like, the Wii and stuff helps a community of people and scientists and medical people. Like, how crazy is that, is that the thing? It was literally created for gaming. Like, jokes aside. They sell a load of units, they create a dump truck load of games exclusively for it, and everybody's happy. But it isn't the end. Because there was only one tiny little thing holding the Kinect back. As you can see, <laughs> when I start making movements with my avatar, it instantly mimics me on screen. It doesn't work. <laughs> I remember I've tried that. i a couple of videos in the past, and the results have always been a bastarding mess. What do you mean, stand back? What are you talking about? What, stand back here? Where do you want me to go? Stand closer. Make up your mind. <laughs> pigeon, throw. Go to the pigeon. Throw. Turn right. Patrick, turn right. Please. Turn right, you stupid, lumpy, pink thumb. It doesn't matter what I do to rectify the issues either. I've used multiple Kinect cameras in the past on multiple 360s with multiple lighting conditions, and yet I still can't manage to get this thing working to a level where I can say, yes, this is an acceptable substitution for a controller. I don't care if it's better or not, I'm just looking for it to be usable. But perhaps I just got very unlucky in the past and picked some really bad Kinect games rather than it being a problem with the Kinect camera. I think so one of the things it was the most question, is the Kinect now infamous compatible with was, was the dancing with games. Of really awful games. Or because the camera itself is a massive piece of shit. So then I, what else, bought myself 17 new Kinect games to play through today in order to give this filthy cretin a sporting chance. But unfortunately, <laughs> because of YouTube's content ID system, I couldn't play those games with heavily copyrighted music in them, meaning no Fantasia Music Evolved or Michael Jackson The Experience, which is a shame because I've heard good things about them, even though the idea of playing Walt Disney's Fantasia with Missy Elliott sounds horrific and the Michael Jackson <laughs> Experience sounds like you'd spend most of the game appearing in court. So enough gaggling, let's get on with this, shall we? I think we should start by checking out the first thing that you see when you start the thing up. I mean, if anything, the Kinect and the amount of games that came out for it, majority of were just cringe or bad. To be fair, while it might have not have been the greatest thing for gaming, it was for content. The amount of videos and people I followed after they would like review or play a connect game it was just it was too hilarious not to you couldn't look away the xbox dashboard please be nice to me xbox's power glove <laughs> oh so jesus christ in the main xbox 360 dashboard menu say hello oh look at that it actually you know what i'm gonna give xbox credit here this works surprisingly well. It knows exactly where my body is. You'll need a controller. Why? I'm using Kinect. Isn't the whole point that I don't need a controller? Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> it knows where my body is. It knows which hand I'm pointing towards the screen and which direction they're being pointed in. It's incredibly responsive. It knows when I'm swiping and in what direction I'm swiping in. Like, there's no... Okay, that went wrong. But overall, it's surprisingly <laughs> good, you know? It works. So, um, let's try out the best game to demonstrate the power of this thing. Um, Raving Rabbids. Yes, what game couldn't be better at showing off what the Kinect can do other than 
raving rabbits. Don't know what these things are? Then I want to open your head and live inside oh God. you, warm and happy, not knowing anything about them either. <laughs> Originally an enemy from a Rayman game, for some reason the rabbits became to games what the minions are to films. Ugly, screaming little munters that exist in their hundreds and sell merchandise every second they can. Finally, a character for me! The rabbits are coming to life. Everybody run. I've got a question for you. <laughs> Who doesn't love the rabbits? Aside from everybody. I don't even think kids like them, which is very lucky because this game begins with you needing I barely to remember upside them. the head in order to start it. We then see a cutscene where a man is on the phone. Mm -hmm talking with a goose and then he suddenly throws his phone in the bin which falls down a series of tubes and alongside a rabbit in an acid bath the only place where it belongs then another one comes in and eats the phone and then another one looks at a screen what? and another one gets stuck in a door is this funny am i supposed to be laughing because i'm not laughing i'm skipping off to the main <laughs> menu and i got an achievement but you don't get an achievement for putting your hands up you get shot! Now, I don't think I should mess with any what? options here that require what? more than one player, so well. I'll stick with quick play for now. After a loading screen, we end up on a game where we need to suck up all of the spaghetti sauce, meaning that I didn't we need think to it was lean funny, though. Right to I did think it was funny, because... I know, uh... None of the games, they always had something different to where you would, like, skip something, or have to have, like, a certain position to hold down for, uh, what you wanted to do. And it was always some weird pose. Always. Watch it all, and that's it. Oh, okay then. I didn't even manage to do it that well. <laughs> nice try. Here, have some toilet paper. Oh, and while you're here, have a picture of you standing wonky. Oh. After this is another loading screen, and we're thrown into another game. Raise our hand to choose an answer. We have to count the fake moving sheep, pick the correct answer, and that's it. <laughs> hmm. After this, we're thrown into another game. Spin a pickle jar lid as fast as possible, and that's it. So that's all this is? A load of 10 second mini games back to back with no point? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, I don't like that. Not even kidding, <laughs> that is all this game is. Slowly moving from one tiny mini yeah, game. Yeah, I don't even remember this game. How much fun you're having. It's like if WarioWare let you I play don't remember one seeing game it. per minute. In fact, you are in loading screens. I don't for remember more hearing time about it. Actually playing the games that are loading. And after all the waiting, you're rewarded with a game that tells you that rabbits like shoving Barbies up their holes. Oh, what's that? You've well? got another picture for me? Great. Perfect. I look like a lamp. I mean, I so can't instead of the shoving the connect up their ass, they were does, shoving Barbie up their no ass. There's absolutely no reason it. to Got bother it. playing it if you're alone. It's just one tiny mini game after the other with no rhyme or reason. It's kind of sad, actually. Which is why they included a mini game that lets you play with your very own rabbit to pretend that you have a friend. Hey, <laughs> what's the point of this game? What am I doing? Oh Jesus! Why is it not working? Why? Why are you half a bunny? Okay, doesn't matter. He's gone. Oh no! Okay. Uh, uh, he's now the sofa. I'm going to sit on him. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, now he's leaving. This so, as well. um, this is this is a great mode, everybody. This is why you want to connect so that you can have a fake ra <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but I'm glad it happened. So I can kick <laughs> the thing. That's good to know. Huh? I can't kick the thing. That's good to know. Say, <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? An astronaut? Great! <laughs> I didn't start making changes. Mind. Change his mind about what? Women's rights? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Ah, oh, that's fun. This is shit. But obviously, that was a pretty long <laughs> thing, wasn't it? Starting a Connect Games video with raving rabbits? Okay, that's fair. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big floppy. Yeah, I get it, I get it. I'll play fair then. Why don't I take a look at two of the launch titles that came bundled with the Connect instead? Connect Sports. Oh and Connect my Adventures. God! First off, Connect Adventures, which, believe it or not, actually has a story mode. You basically need to do a massive I series of full this body bullshit. motion quests like river rafting, obstacle courses, oh ball actually... bouncing, and bubble popping. Actually, I think I still have a copy of one of these games. But it's probably somewhere down in the flooded basement. So... Not sure if it would still work. <laughs> in order to discover and collect these things called living statues which you can then make bend over you know what's funny though 
this actually works. And not only does it work, it works really well. This is the first Kinect thing I have played where I can safely say that if you move your body, it then does a thing. Move your arm, the game moves your arm. Move your leg, the game moves your leg. Move your head, the game moves your head. Move your junk, oh no. Honestly, I'm speechless. <laughs> and that's really dumb because I shouldn't be considering how simple this is. All you're doing is ducking, sidestepping, jumping, using your arms and feet individually. But because Kinect has such an awful track record with games not working for the bloody thing, whenever you get a game that actually reads what your body is doing relatively well, it feels like the second coming of Christ. And the first coming was already Jeebus. pretty good. Look at that. It Jeebus. even knows when I decide no. to itch Jeebus. my nose. Or, wait, do, do I have a nose? I can't quite see my face. Oh, 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 God. Oh, no. Actually, no, stand back. No, don't get any closer. Watch out, everybody. Kenny's coming to get you through the TV. <laughs> Ultimately, it's still as simplistic oh, and family-friendly no. as a pair of shoes, but it's functional. And if some of the photos the game took were of me looking like this, this, and this, <laughs> then I can't say it wasn't at least a little bit The fun. fucking that is except photos. That's for one thing. The noise that happens when I you I forgot yourself. about those. I find that very offensive because my mother died in a car crash last year and the noise it made was no laughing matter. The exact same thing can be said about Connect Sports Stop too, it. even though it doesn't look like anyone on the cover wants to be there. Mm. Well, actually, maybe the kid is a little bit too happy. Mm. Oh, 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 I love stepping on my son. Take Wii Sports and remake it so that you use your entire body instead of just your hands, and you have Connect Sports. <laughs> just like Connect Adventures, it's really basic stuff, but I can't knock it because it works really damn well. It knows where I'm leaning, it knows where I'm twisting, it knows where my knees are, it knows when I'm kicking, it knows how much force I put into arm swings, it knows how fast I roll my arms, it even knows when I'm having a drink of water. I'm so impressed I could just go and buy a phone on T-Mobile. The only sport here I didn't really like, to be honest, was football. Not only because I don't like it to begin with, I mean, just look at me, I'm thrilled to be here, but also because <laughs> it's just a load of standing around, waiting for you to have the ball, waiting for a tutorial window to leave you alone, and then kicking it to the next person while you wait to have the ball, wait for a tutorial window to leave you alone, and then kick it again. It's honestly quite boring, and I won way too easily. I won 10-0, <laughs> and that was mostly from goals that looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> sure. One thing I did notice while playing both of these games, though, was something very cool yeah, about that's, the Kinect that's camera how I remember itself. How I played, I've yeah. never seen this happen on any other Kinect game before, but I think the reason these two games work so well is because it actually tracks your movement as you run, duck, and jump in order to get the best accuracy possible. They clearly knew what they were doing here, and I can respect that for launch titles, but I still wouldn't recommend actually buying either of them. They're too rudimentary and wear out their welcome in a few minutes. And I mean, if you really desperately want a game where you fix leaks quickly, either have a baby or work in an old people's home. Ah, damn it, I'm not doing <laughs> too well on the javelin throw here, but I've got one more chance to boost up my score and win the game. I just need to run a little bit faster and throw a little bit harder. Come on, come on, bored man. You can do this. <laughs> bored I man. In you. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'm just not fit Which is a good thing. Because I've got to get fit with Mel B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump up, boys and girls. It's I time to don't get remember fit this with one. Mel B. Get fit with Melbourne. Oh, uh, Melon. For those of you who don't know who she is, Mel B used to be a singer with the Spice Girls, but now she's in a Kinect game where she shouts at you for being fat. You know what, though? Why not? Well, Kinect Sports in particular made me realize that I'm not exactly in the best shape to be dealing with something yeah. like the Kinect. So it's a good like to be fair to the Kinect, like they they kind of leaned into the whole workout thing because you know it, it you're literally moving your whole body to play games. So why not just go ahead and have like full on quote unquote games where it's literally just workout shit. Like I remember more than a few, some of them actually tried to make it a game game, but it was basically just workouts doing the same moves over and over again. Thing that I've got get fit with Mel B to help me out. And I do feel good about this because whoever had the game before me burned a little bit of fat on the side of the case. So what are we oh. waiting for, lads? Let's strap on our sports shoes and spit in a bucket because it's <laughs> time for another edition of... Let's get fit. Oh my get god! Get scout, then. That oh, outfit. Where is it? Oh, it's there. You win this round, Mel. But when were you born? <laughs> I'm tired already.
Tony, can we take a break? There we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Cad Icarus. I'm male. I was born on the 19th of June, 1994. I'm five foot ten, and I live on a luxury yacht. However, yeah, did I know okay, that when we... I put in the disc of Get Fit with Melb, that I would be greeted with one of the most uncanny and disturbing games I've played in recent memory. The workout began. Melon looked me dead in the eye. She said, Put your right hand up now to start. And then the floodgates were opened. This is what happened when I played Get Fit with Mel B. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, she's cut my feet off. Mel, what have you done to me? She's <laughs> my good friend, everybody. Mel Just turning B into a my, horror my, movie. My luxury yacht. Mel, you changed clothes. We're in the middle of the sea. Where's the wardrobe? Having problems? I'm having major problems, Mel, because you've served me up on a chopping board. Am I going to be put into a steak? Bend over and uppercut. There you go. I'm now properly on your chopping board. <laughs> it's Cabby Spit Roast. Hey, Mel, do you find it a little bit funny how we're in the middle of a desert and I look a lot like Jesus. If it wants my feet in the game, then I have to be standing <laughs> the on top never of the ending sofa, Jeebus. which means I've got to be here. I told you about barging into people's yachts and forcing them to exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meditating. I'm floating. Mel, are you not impressed? Yeah, I disappeared. Mel, where have I gone? <laughs> Mel, did you send me to Mel's the busy. Dimension? Where am I? She's, she's getting things over. done. They're never going to leave. Oh, God. Seven, eight, and left. Oh, my God. It's just my legs now. It's, it's get fit with chicken thighs. You're supposed to be helping me get fit, not make me think of KFC. Hey, Mel, have you met my dog? He's a big fan of the Spice Girls, and he likes it when his butt gets itched on your, your luxury hot. Well, I think it's safe to say... Ah! <laughs> and you know what? I honestly don't know why Mel B was needed for any of this. It didn't feel like her game at all. It could have been anybody standing there. Mel, you never told me your luxury yacht had a hidden compartment. The Michael Jackson game, though, that would be his game. You can't replace MJ in that. Otherwise, there wouldn't be that mini game where you dangle your kid from a balcony. Ah! What? Oh my god. <laughs> Neighbor check in. How many neighbors saw? Oh shit. How many? Oh fuck's sake. How many neighbors? Isn't very good. Dial the sadly, popo. If you're really upset, unfortunately, it isn't legal to shoot Mel B. But it's okay. If you can't shoot her in real life, you can always pretend to shoot her with a gun game. Up oh, next God. is the gun stringer. Another I kind of remember this one. 360 and one that uses animations from Granny 3D. But I really miss Grandfather 2D. And not to jump the gun here, <laughs> but this is the most creative use of the Kinect technology I've seen so far in any Kinect game. Not just because of its adorably creative live stage puppet show setting with real human hands controlling all the obstacles and props, but because of how it makes yeah, a I kind of remember this on one. something like the Kinect. Basically, your left hand moves the gun stringer left, right, and you pull it upwards to jump, just like you're holding the string bar of a real puppet, while your right hand acts as your gunning arm for whenever you find Mel B. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the Kinect can't exactly pick up teeny Just tiny individual down, finger motions, meaning that firing your gun while aiming has to be done in a more user-friendly way. So how they got around that here is by allowing you to lock onto a maximum of six targets at once for each shot, and then when you're ready, fling your shooting arm back like the recoil of a gun to activate all the bullets that you had locked on with. It isn't perfect, don't get me wrong, especially if your arms accidentally cross over each other while aiming your gun and moving left and right, but it works well enough where I could actually recommend you digging out a copy here. There's multiple types of shooting mini games that are thrown your way, a good sense of humor, <coughs> a nice mix of platforming as well as shooting. In fact, it's more fun than dropping your kid from a window and making him cry. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> By the way, I've got a question. Why does that look like an avocado? In conclusion, the gun stringer <laughs> is a good time, and it's also very round. And what do straight men do when they see whopping, galloping breets like that? Not the breets. They get a woody. Toy Story Mania. Oh my Yay. god. You're already Fuck because sake. we're about to dive into some dart throwing, Fuck ring sake. tossing, egg flinging, eye gouging, sausage licking, toast smelling, <laughs> green goblin, victim blaming, placenta cooking. Fuck. Now, I'm not completely against the idea of sure a Toy that's Story exactly party what it said game on the that box, uses motion okay. control. Sounds like it could be quite fun, actually. You know, being inside Andy's room, smacking Bo Peep around for losing her sheep for the millionth time. Can you find my. So I can't wait any longer. <laughs> Let's jump into adventure mode, boot up the Wild West world, and get on the. Okay, all right, we've got a practice mode mini game to start with, and all we need to do is aim while an unlimited amount of pies are flung at Buzz's obese chin. Nice and easy, but I've got this one in the bag. Time to start aiming at targets. Oh, oh, wait, oh dear, no. There's no targets up there. Now, I'm no expert here, but maybe the Kinect can see my hands when they're there, and then 
but they can't when they're smushed in together close to my chest. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, it's just a thought. And I tried using one hand on its own to see if I could get more accuracy, but nope, the game doesn't even register you aiming at anything if you do that. Which well, is kind of a problem in a game with... <laughs> okay, well, maybe <laughs> we start. How about we try the space world next? We boot it up and get thrown into another practice <coughs> mode where we aim an unlimited amount of pies being flung towards... Are we about to play the same game again? Yes, yes we are, you know, because it was just the first time. But guys, it's even <laughs> better than the last game, because now instead of darts, we're throwing rings. Is it just I'm all just basically quit. the same oh, minigame? You're not gonna quit, are you? Yes, I am, Woody, because you're terrible and I hate you. Another adventure mode it is, then. Animals and friends. This sounds like a nice bit of variety. We boot it up and get thrown into another practice mode where we aim an unlimited amount. I'm gonna quit this one, too. Okay, surely well... there'll be something else to do if I scrap the adventure mode and head straight for the party mode. Lots of different types of fast-paced minigames, one after the other. What could possibly go wrong? Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> this is all the game is, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it Toy Story Mania is a it game is so where you bad. stand still and vaguely rotate your body by a few degrees while a cursor doesn't follow where you're pointing at. That's the whole game. The Kinect only has to do Lovely. one job, and even then, it's simply IGN can't gave do it a it. 10 out of 10. What use is a game all about aiming at targets when you're working with an aiming cursor that stays with you just as much as Andy's dad? And the weird thing though <laughs> is that the menus work absolutely perfectly. I mean, it knows exactly when I'm trying to pause the game by holding one arm down straight and pushing the other one out, but has an absolute fit whenever I bend down just a little bit to avoid a pie in the face. Limbs out of frame? What the hell are you talking about? You're looking at me, I'm right there! Better with Kinect <laughs> sensor. If that's the case, then I'd hate to see this game without it. So to summarize, Toy Story Mania works at its best when you want to quit it, which is all you want to do with it anyway, meaning it's actually the Whoa. perfect video game. Aim for the bullseye! Oh, come on, Woody. Your mouth didn't even say that. It was closer to... Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? <laughs> Maybe a Connect game built entirely around one Pixar movie was never that great of an idea to begin with. I think you deserve some bonus credits. Crank the generators for extra power. Gee, thanks, Buzz. So how about instead we check out another game that has a million Pixar movies in it? Connect Rush. No. Connect Rush. Does that mean? Does that mean we get to play? What in the absolute oh, okay. fuck? We're great. All right, we're going. We're spinning. Oh Jesus! A buzz. Why are we spinning? So here we are. With Disney <laughs> Pixar's Connect Rush, a game where you play as a child. I vaguely remember this one. Speaks to him. You wouldn't by any chance want to play Cars, would you? <laughs> one day he catches a bus to the Pixar Park in order to go to all these different Pixar worlds in the park and pretend to be in them. I love playing Mater. <laughs> he cracks me up. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. This is the saddest game ever made. All you do is run around a theme park, talk to kids, and then pretend to have fun. What kind of shit theme park is this? Where are the rides? Why is everyone okay with this? Where are your parents? Is this Lord of the Flies? So let's take a step <laughs> back for a second. You are playing a video game where you're pretending to go to a Pixar theme park, but the game itself is you pretending to go to a Pixar theme park. Don't let that turn you off, though, because I actually had a bit of fun with this one. Wow. Wow, I didn't expect that. In its simplest terms, <laughs> Pixar Rush is an on-rails platforming game where you travel through multiple Pixar movies and usually means you have to move with your arms like this, but sometimes means you have to move them like you're a drowning dog. There's a few mechanics added in and changed across all the movies to spice things up, and surprisingly enough, not only does this game work really well with reading your running arm motions, leans, and jumps than something like Toy Story Mania, but is also ten times more fun I than like that to game too, even um, though it's like five smaller games Speaking of those one. caddy moves... Uh, I like to think, <laughs> like, a lot of, um, Fortnite, uh, dance emote things, um, were inspired by the Kinect. That's, like, that's, that's my canon event. That's my lore in my head. Like, Fortnite just straight up was inspired by the Kinect. Per cage. I didn't like all of it though, like with Up, where the game couldn't really figure out if I was rowing a boat or having a stroke, and on the calibration screen, the game was convinced I had scoliosis, but overall, I'm kind of impressed at how well this all works, and you get a lot of variety for your buck too. Oh look, I even got an extra disc in the box here. Do not make illegal copies of this disc. Yeah, that'll stop them. I wonder what's <laughs> on this disc though. Works fine. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Mother. Hello! <laughs> I'm Sponce! And I'm here to tell you that your house is ugly and you should be ashamed of it. Look at that wall! Uh, did you paint it with sick? Isn't there anything I can do? Yes. By heading to Display... Special thank you to Display for sponsoring today. The only place you need to collect and display everything you're passionate about right on your walls. Display are the leading website for the highest quality metal wall prints featuring original artwork and branded artwork from some of your favourite games, movies and TV shows. Even better, if you can't <laughs> hang pictures on your hideous walls, you don't need to, because all the plates come with these handy magnetic strips that stick to your wall extremely easily, allowing for easy hanging and easy adjustments in case you want cloud to fall down. Ha 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 ha, funny. By the way, did you like my <laughs> brand new video intro? Because there's an exclusive displayed wall print version oh of my that logo with added extra details, all thanks to the lovely Chi. She did the animation. But is the there intro, a Jeebus one? That's the display. question. Thank you very much for that. That's right. You can make any wall in your house infinitely worse by putting my face on it. And as a treat for all of you watching this video right now, you can activate a special discount at checkout by following my unique link in the description below, which will not only give you a total bargain for some amazing I think, I think we're a little late for this, so be supporting this channel directly. You also get to plant a tree with every display you buy, so you're doing some good for the environment. Anyway, I'm off. And then, without any smooth transition whatsoever, here is the greatest box art of all time. I'm serious, this is possibly the best box art I've ever seen oh, in my wait, life. Look at it. The Mine Harry Potter one, I think I remember. Remember this about one? To kamikaze the side of Hogwarts Castle, and what is Harry doing with his face? <laughs> Now, this may just be the greatest video game ever created. Want to know why? Because you start it up, you see all of the splash logos of the companies involved in making it, and then the very first thing you see is Neville Longbottom. <laughs> Are you ready, gamers? So in Harry Potter for the Connect, you get the honor of playing through a few major events of all of the movies in one big story mode. A sound idea for a motion-based game style. Yeah, I think sick. I remember watching some people play this. <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> was living with his awful Dropping aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon when, on his 11th birthday, his Uncle Vernon sat on him. So we've got our <laughs> ready to go, and we can choose to have it in movie mode, the which end. is addressed to Harry, or custom mode, which is... <laughs> Which is which is addressed to Cadicorous TV, and I'm picking that one based on how great it would be if Hogwarts selected students with their gamer tags. Welcome to Hogwarts! Muff Muncher underscore 69. <laughs> because we've chosen custom mode, this also means we get to customize our wizard by taking a photo of ourselves and using Muff that as our avatar. And I ended up with this. Welcome to Hogwarts, where if we don't like your face, we rip it off and stick this one on it. And now we have wow. to get our wand, preferably Lovely. without breaking anything. Bravo! Aha! Got it! The perfect wand for the perfect boy <laughs> with facial hair. Now we need to be sorted into our schoolhouse, and apparently we can shout at the connect in order to influence its decision. Slytherin! 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 Have full puff! <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm only left with one question. Did my parents send me off to Hogwarts because I'm magical or because they didn't want to look at my face anymore? Let's get on with the school year then. I can't Honestly, wait to see what adventures it could be the one. Uh, potions class. Perfect. You will attempt to brew a cure for boils. What? You mean like the one on your face? Oh, wait, that's just your nose. <sighs> I mean, okay, wow. it's pretty straightforward. You just move your arms in the way the game tells you to, but it seems to be working okay. Oh, what's this? Five star rating? I'm impressed, Connect. I'm impressed. I know I don't look it, but trust me, I am. But now we're <laughs> on to the true test. Can we cast Wingardium Leviosa? Now, you try. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa! Try again. Is this microphone broken or am I not giving it enough Leviosa? Wingardium Leviosa, Wingardium Leviosa, Wingardium Leviosa. Well, if you can't hear me, what am I supposed to do? I don't know if you guys remember, but in the Harry Potter movies, they cast spells. So how am I supposed to keep playing? You can also use movement to select a spell. To select Wingardium Leviosa, put your arms in this position. <laughs> Excellent. You hand yourself into the FBI to select a spell. <laughs> I that in the movie. Okay, so that was a disaster, but at least the motion control still worked pretty well. Hey, hey guys, guess what I'm doing in this picture? I'm casting a spell in Harry Potter. When <laughs> Professor Quirrell interrupts dinner in the Great Hall, he did a very funny scream. Ron and Harry realize Hermione may be in danger 
and go to the girls' toilets to look at them. Anyway, we now have our first <laughs> boss battle against the troll in the bathroom, but there's just one problem. I don't know which one is the troll. <laughs> <laughs> the toilets have big enough gaps for me to come and I see you. I can't. I can't. Oh, no! Watch out, 11-year-old boy with beard. The troll is coming to get you. There's only one thing you can do to get away. Bend your kneecaps in the wrong direction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> see what I'm saying? The Connect Harry inspired the Fortnite moves. I'm just... I'm not, I'm not going to be convinced otherwise. You can't convince me otherwise. Like, <laughs> this is canon now. This is the lore of Fortnite dance moves. It's from the Connect. Something in midair while on his broomstick, she gets moist. Hey, everybody, <laughs> look, here I am, the youngest Quidditch player in a century, with a face that's a different color to the rest of his skin. <laughs> to be fair to connect once again, though, this does work surprisingly well. It's not complicated or anything, but it's certainly functional. Steer left and right by leaning, reach out your hand to grab the snitch when you're close enough, and come on, who doesn't love punching the shit out of spotty children on broomsticks and possibly killing them? And, okay, would you look at that? We've skipped a lot of this story because we're already at the end of the first movie. Off we go to fight Voldemort, Going to the I guess. hospital because of connect that, injury. I'm pretty sure there were. A flying keys surrounding it. Like, We're more than a few. One. Probably rusty like the handle. Ron, you're 11. Why do you sound 36? This mini game <laughs> here... Ugh, it is a dumble snore. You just float around as still as a statue while using your body to stop keys from flying by you. And why does the end of your broom look like you sat on Tina Turner? No time to answer those uh, questions, though, because uh, here we are, face to Tina face Turner. with Voldemort's face and his other face. And even though he is a literal face grafted onto the back of someone else's head, I somehow look worse than him. By the way, you, you want to see the greatest do. introduction to a main villain in video game history? We meet again. See what I must do to survive. Flawless. And so is this boss battle. Do you know what you have to do? Hold your hands out in front of his face for long enough, and uh. then he just gives up. Not again. Not like this. No. Not even joking, that's how it ends. And if the first movie is going to end so half-heartedly, then I will too. <gasps> Who's that at the top of the stairs? Is it JK walking? No. It's JK rolling. So what do you do when the visiting world of Harry Popoff is a little too intense? You head on down to good old Seasame Street. Believe it or not, there are actually multiple Kinect games based off of Sesame Street. The most popular one being Once Upon a Monster. But after looking into it, I don't remember it just any looked of like them. every other baby's first Kinect game. So I decided to skip it. Me not know you could read. Oh, well, I'm okay. Read yet, Cookie Monster. This one is about. An onion want to be a cowboy. Well, how did you know that if you can't read? You vile wasp! No, instead <laughs> I decided to go for Sesame Street TV on the Connect because yeah, it actually I don't does remember something any really of the unique ones. with the technology. It teaches you how to stop using your binky. Since this is indeed for toddlers, you aren't expected to actually do anything that taxing. So instead, you're simply given a collection of Sesame Street episodes in HD, all full length, and all tailored around you by using the camera. <laughs> Everybody, help me. I don't know who this man is. He promised me sweet and then trap me in this mirror. I've been here for three weeks. Help me, get me out. Please let me out. <laughs> Caddy just turning every Connect game into a horror movie. Sesame Street episode. <laughs> and sure, you can't change what happens in the episode or anything, but you are taken along for the ride every step of the way. So if you're a kid who loves Sesame Street or an adult baby in a diaper, what the fuck? Then this is the game for you. <laughs> Ooh, you know, I think I hear Don't be kink shaman. Barking. Are you sure that wasn't your wife? This wasn't the game for me. So everybody, this is what happened when I took a stroll into Sesame Street in the episode or anything, but you are taken the along for the happened? ride every step of the way. So if you're a kid who loves Sesame Street or an adult baby in a diaper, what the fuck am I looking at? Then this is the game for you. Ooh, you know, I, I don't think know what I just happened. Barking. Are you sure that wasn't your wife? This wasn't the game for me. So everybody, this is what happened when you I took you a okay? stroll into Sesame Street. Here we go. La, la, we're we're in Elmo's world! And it's horrible! Oh god. <laughs> That's weird. Welcome to Elmo's seizure! Oh lord! <laughs> the video wanted to show the adult babies again. <laughs> I'm coming for you! <laughs> oh again, God, turning it into a horror what? movie. What am I playing? What the hell is this? <laughs> I'm a violent woman for a via loneliness. <laughs> Elmo and his three dancing crucifixes. What happens if I leave? Sesame Street was Jeebus squared. By the letter of the day. V for visectomy. Now this is all well and good, but if you play well? this game and still think that it isn't quite real enough for you, and you decide to drive to Sesame Street yourself, that's fine. 
But don't park your car there. It, it kind of looks like one of those places where it would get stolen. And what happens after your car is stolen? It becomes a joyride for a criminal child. Hence, Connect Joyride. <laughs> well, ho, 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 I'm the dad and my son is driving the car. I'm over the limit. Sadly, though, Connect Joyride is another one of those games that I just I can't don't say that much about. Really Not because remember it's bad or anything, but just because it exists and it works, so I can't even joke about how terrible the Connect is here. You pretend <laughs> to hold a steering wheel, twist it to turn left and right, lean left and right for drifts, pull the wheel back and push forward for a speed boost, and tilt your body up, down, and all around while in midair to try out some tricks. But it all works pretty damn well, so to be honest, like, what can I say? Do you want a racing game with no controller? Then what's wrong with you? I mean, then you should get Connect Joyride. For a game about racing built entirely around body motion, it's a nice little distraction that does its job well enough. And more importantly, it's legal. Well... Oh, come on, champ. Why are you so glum? Well, I really want to go to Disneyland. Oh, but you can't, because you're poor. Yeah. Well, <laughs> wow. luckily for you, for only $149.99 <laughs> I can finally afford to go? No, you can pretend to go. Lovely. You can pretend to go. Pretend to go. <laughs> pretend to go. The very existence of Disneyland Adventures for the okay, Kinect I remember absolutely this one. mystifies me. You've got this wonderful and amazing <laughs> motion tracking camera technology <laughs> to do whatever you want with, and instead of putting Disney characters in a grand magical also, adventure for you to interact with, you pretend. I think you can actually play it on um the newer Xbox for. Uh, Xbox Game Pass. I think I've seen it in Game Pass. Um, and you can just play it with a controller. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. ...to go to a theme park as you stand in front of the camera pointing in the direction you want your ugly goblin to run towards. Look, there's even crowds of people that block you from moving. See, it's just like the real thing. I always wanted theme park crowds the video game, but it's not all bad <laughs> because look, they included my favorite the real Disney experience. movie. The Sniffing Ticket. I fooled! Who would have guessed that? Okay, I preferred you when you were flat. Is that supposed to be a man made out of a ticket? He looks more like a piece of buttered wood. I don't know, maybe someone somewhere gets their rocks off to this game, but I just don't see it. Yes, finally, I've always wanted a video game where I can go to Disneyland to and run around a crowded theme park in know. real time without any friends, family, shops, restaurants, or actual physical rides. I just Why remember this seeing this exist? this game Help on the Game Michael Pass. Rat. Let's meet Mickey! And I think just you can wait. just play it with a like controller. This. Hello, Mickey! Hello! I was hoping to get some of my friends' autographs today, but I've been so busy with the Toontown mayor election that I haven't had the chance. Wait, why do you need to get autographs from your own friends? Are you trying to sell them on eBay? Do you think you could ask Donald to sign this book for me? I'd sure appreciate it. Oh, right. So Where I were you hiding that book to make the it to the real, genuine Disneyland. And the very first thing that happens when I walk in the gate <laughs> is the park owner asking me to run errands for him because he can't be asked himself. <laughs> Guess you're a little shy. What are you trying to say? Sure, why not? It's not uh, like I'm a uh, kid that uh, wants to have fun or anything. I'll go and get your stupid Donald scribble. <laughs> Hello, Donald. <laughs> okay, and now I've got to run all the way back to him? Fine, whatever. I was planning on running back out the front door as soon as I got here Should anyway. Should I asked no him worries, if he was, Ronald you know, Reagan. Here, Mickey, sending some heels to dead corpses? Stupid book. Can I please run around the park now? Actually, this autograph book's not for me. It's for Goofy. <laughs> oh great, so I haven't actually been doing you a favor. You told Goofy that you would do something important for him as a friend, gave up without even starting, it's, and it's then dumped Donald. it on me the so... second I got here. Gee, thanks, Mickey Minger. Can I at least get your autograph for me so I don't need to ever see you again? Wow, what an honor. You cheap prick, you didn't even write anything down. <laughs> did Mickey Mouse become a sociopath? Did he finally succumb to the darkness? Time to run off back <laughs> in the there it is, just there it is. came from to find Goofy and give him his goddamn I autograph. I was waiting book. for at least one <laughs> reference to King Can Hearts. I get one for myself while I'm here? Sure. Same as I right, so Mickey doesn't write down anything at all when I ask him for an autograph, and you sign my book with a pen you pulled out from the inside of your ear. All I need now is for Donald to throw up on me and the Holy Trinity is complete. Okay, so now Yeah, I'm getting a second that. look at it is like... What do I need to like do now? I still can't more go than to a the park. Fuck. I need to go back to Mickey again? Why? I thought I was playing Disneyland, not Papers, please. When was being a miserable <laughs> delivery boy anything to do with going
going to Disneyland. Do you need to sell your life into the slave trade to get inside Disneyland nowadays? <laughs> oh, there you are, Mickey. What else have well... you got for me, then? A metal bucket so you can send me off to get fresh water from 30 miles away. I've got a present for you. It's your own magical camera. If you like, you can practice taking a picture of me. <laughs> Holy shit, the narcissism. <laughs> Mickey Mouse can't even give me a poxy little digital camera without the one condition of taking Disneyland a photo too. of him <laughs> yeah. just because he's that damn brilliant. Well, fine. If I must, I must. Oh, and after all of this, guess what we need to do? Go on. Guess. No, you're wrong. We have to go back to Goofy again. Take <laughs> his picture because I guess he's such a gangly moron he can't figure out how to hold a camera himself. And then he gives us a map of the park. Oh my god, finally! <sighs> so after all of that pointless busy work, I can finally fast travel to some classic Disneyland rides. Well... And is it worth it? Absolutely, categorically, no, it is not. The first yeah, that's what I thought was, was Big Thunder Mountain, one of my favourites at Disneyland. And I was expecting some sort of visual show, maybe with occasional things to grab and collect, or a cute video where they put your real-life body in the seat of a ride, or maybe even a load of themed minigames where you watch the ride play out in the background. But no, what you get is one of the most exhausting and painful workouts I've ever done in a yeah, game. Yeah, I this remember was more seeing hard this. Than get fit with Mel B. <laughs> so Mel B's back. Game, right? You stand still, reach out to the left and the right occasionally to hit switches and grab coins, and you do this as fast as possible for three minutes straight without stopping. Yeah, this is your reward for doing all of Mickey Mouse's daily chores. Imagine that one Mario Party. Yeah, I'm getting game exhausted where you just watching as fast it. As possible, non-stop, but it lasts for three minutes, and you're using your entire body instead of just your thumb. You're supposed to sit down when you get to the ride, not pump up an inflatable. <laughs> ball. Honey, can we go to Disneyland? No. Why would we need to do that when we can stay at home and pump? Not even can kidding. You pump for your the game alone absolutely knocked me out for the rest of my recording sessions that day. Even the Kinect itself was noticing that I was struggling and told me to take <laughs> a break. It was absolute murder on my back. But I didn't want Even to leave right like, after Even the Kinect's like, damn, Caddy, I mean, I you okay? I an hour of running slowly back and forth to get to this point. So I thought I'd give another ride a try and clicked on Space Mountain, another favorite ride of mine. And yeah, fine. Okay, it's not as arduous as Thunder Mountain, but they expect you to steer a spaceship around an asteroid belt avoiding obstacles and aiming lasers without dropping your hands down once for six minutes straight i know it doesn't yeah. sound like much but it's way harder it's not than happening. it looks particularly when the game itself is boring and it's more activity than i would have expected from a game about going to a theme park look at these pictures does it look like i'm having fun <laughs> I, would rather cute I love the pictures i love the photographs no, it does i don't mean cue to get on a ride i mean stand there and cue for nothing at all standing in a straight line and doing nothing is more fun than Disneyland Adventures on the Connect. <laughs> Whoa, you sound angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I am angry. Well, why don't you put Not the angry. You mean in real life? Yes. You don't mean that, do you? No. This here is known as Fighters <laughs> Oh, Uncaged, I remember this one. I remember this one. No, what is Oh, for fuck's yeah, ready sake. Ready for the fight of your life, starring Miguel S... Oh, okay, no, never mind. Um, Robert I... Oh, okay, no worries, didn't need to know his... Uh, Baker T... Pis oh, 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 okay, oh, no, I nearly got your name there. Uh, Dimitri... Oh, my God, that was on screen <laughs> for less than a second. Jay, you would... Slow down! <laughs> very excited and you know what to give fighters uncaged a little bit of praise here i was going to contest the reviews of it at the time like 32 percent two out of ten and one because this tutorial sequence here worked surprisingly well for me it was able to read my types of punches decently it got the correct kicking motions it knew when i was dodging i was a little perplexed at the scathing criticism at first but then i got out of the training looked yeah. my best friend in the eye whose name is spa and all of a sudden it all made sense this oh mama 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 this is bad absolutely everything wrong with a shovel where connect cash grab is here and accounted for and that's not good because this yeah, awesome shovel where it was an officially developed launch title for the Kinect yeah. and given just as much see I remember a lot of people I followed and didn't follow like this is one of the main games that they would review or just play for Kinect and my god the rage people felt 
after playing this game. <laughs> marketing as connect sports and adventures xbox were proud of this they were proud of this yeah they Gandhi actually Brown like promoted splat. the shit the out reason of this the tutorial worked so well is because they were asking me to do specific moves repeatedly in a slow and spaced out fashion but the second they expect <clears> you to perform these moves quickly on a second's notice and want you to change moves up constantly for combos and getting around blocks from the opponent the connect just doesn't know what you're doing at any given time by the time it reads you performing a punch <laughs> it's already started reading a second punch that hasn't even happened yet and they expect you to react to your opponent when they move as fast as this <laughs> So they want you to move fast, but if you move too fast, the game does a big smelly, and they want you to quickly move back from the enemy whenever they strike. But even if you move on time, it's still too slow for the Kinect to even realize you moved back quickly. Fighters Uncaged is a disgrace. It looks blurrier than that a painting someone sound. just sweated on. The I controls don't work. You look like an arsehole when you play it, and even the voice acting sucks. Watch out for my feet! Wow, thanks for telling me what you're about to do before you do it, Dr. Eggman. I'm sure that will help you win. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure sure that's what everyone's inside voice sounds like while they're fighting to the death? Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm in a sticky situation, huh? I better shoot my gunny first or me go bye-bye. Perhaps I can oh, find golly myself gee. a better fighting yeah. game with this. Hulk Hogan's main event. I don't remember this one. Hey. Okay, good stuff so far. The game recognizes where I am. It reads all my movements fine. So let's head to the main menu and oh my god, what is that? Where on the box does it say that you can play as a swan? Look at this thing. He's disgusting. Them and jiggle what is physics that all over though. His body? Is he covered in Cheeto dust? I have only loaded up the menu and hit start, but despite the jiggle, that, jiggle, I though. can comfortably say this is the ugliest the nipple game jiggle. I've ever seen. Look at Hulk Hogan here. He looks like an Easter egg. And check out these cutscenes. These silent, boring, static, hideous cutscenes. <laughs> and here I come. <laughs> man, so what a chap. Oh my <laughs> Jesus, look. If his face wasn't awful enough for you, then you'll be thrilled to know that the developers animated him a wobbling gunt. Oh god. The jiggle physics. Oh god, this is this is this isn't what I needed today. Ten out of ten IGN. Is the game any fun to play? What do you think? Hulk Hogan's main <laughs> event is so bottom of the barrel, not, even worse. the milk WWE mold won't games, grow on it. If you ever to, to play a video game adaptation it. of Happy Slaps, then this is exactly the game for you. You just throw your arms and legs in any direction you want and win. Occasionally, you have to guard your face, of the, even the though it wrestling would look better games. if it was smashed in. But mostly, it's a load of invisible fly swatting of, um... until you win. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Did I say win? I meant to say enter into a mini game where you... <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of the wrestling games I've noticed over the years, it's like they're either Either pretty good wrestling games or monstrosities that need to be set on fire. It's like there's no in between. They're either decently good games or need to be set on fire. Just absolute no in between. Take Fat Quaman over here and make him pick up and drop your opponent over and over and over again. Dude, please stop it. I don't think he has any more backs to break. And <laughs> just when it couldn't get any worse for Captain Chin, you still haven't won the match because you then go into another mini game where you have to pin your opponent down and pound on him some more. At this point, you really need to stop, man. He's already dead. <laughs> I'm never touching this game again. You know what? I'm pretty sure I've seen that face before somewhere. Ah, rise of night nightmares. Makes this sense one. Now. This box art is not very scary at all. You know, this woman, one. Hands. Those are things I've that we all seen have. so I many times. This was one of the popular oh, man, ones I've to got play. To reach my hand out to the screen to start like a zombie is good. Rise of nightmares. Okay, so I bet you were all thinking to yourselves just now, oh golly, this Kinect gadget is a top <laughs> bit of kit that is certainly worth the money, but can I play a horror game on it? And the answer is no. Unless you don't no, mind it's so bad. back and it's forth so like bad. a drunkard while you spend the first 16 but minutes to of the be game fair, opening the doors again, of the train. It was it's horrible, but great content. To this day, like I could literally go back and watch those old ass videos of this connect them people playing the this connect game rise of nightmare 
for the first time and still be entertained. It's like, it's just, it's one of those so bad it's good kind of situations. Not joking about that, by the way. For the first few minutes of the game, you do nothing but open a million doors. Is this Rise of Nightmares or o opening of doors? We control a man <laughs> named Josh, and if you couldn't tell by his waddling at the very start, he has a drinking problem. The story starts on a train where we do everything that Connect was built to do, including arguing with your wife, walking into a British woman, sniffing an old Romanian man, and crawling under the legs of a Russian ballet girl. We need to chase after our wife after our little The opening argument, to this game to is that, wild. We need our ticket, which I clearly had in my hands, yet the bastard train conductor won't let me through. How do you think I got on this train without my ticket? See? Now <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got my ticket back, but that meant I had to be told I was going to die by a fortune teller. I don't Gee, know, lady. Thanks. I think my future consists of opening even more doors. I just can't see death coming Gets for me at all. Gets killed by a door. Oh, no. Bless you. Oh, oh no. no. My nagging wife just got <laughs> captured by a human grandfather <laughs> clock. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Well, I won't do that. All of a sudden, a bold man laughs at me because I guess he loves having no hair. The train crashes, we've lost our wife, we narrowly escape by climbing across the wreckage on top of a river, and Josh doesn't sound too upset by any of this. Damn. I think I was that drunk. Ha <laughs> ha I'm gonna die! <laughs> We find the rest of the crash survivors in a cave and do a little bit more drunk wobbling until we fall down a hole. <laughs> <laughs> Now we have to swim. Oh, dude, it's so scary. We don't need to swim anymore, but now... Ew, we've got icky bugs on our arms. Get ew, them off. Are you starting to notice icky, something ew. about this scary game? Ew. That it isn't scary. And I'm getting absolutely sick of these movement controls. Picking things up with your hand is fine, but the game wants you to take a step forward to walk, which would be okay, except you get reprimanded for doing that. What do you mean I'm standing too close? You told me to step forward, you dick. Not only that, yeah, you need I to remember shift that your shoulders too. left and right to turn. The rage. But since there's a delay to the, the rage. Connect, reading you doing that, if it even reads it at all, you can never align yourself straight for longer than a few seconds and are constantly overcompensating your turns. You just wave back and forth and Endlessly without being able to walk straight, it's enough to make me Wallace and vomit. It literally does not matter that the game recognizes me perfectly and tells me I'm in the optimal play area. You are still at the total whim of this thing trying to decide if you are trying to sidestep or get down with your bad self. And then there's the <laughs> combat. The lumpy. Like if you literally sneeze, the connects like confused. Are there two of you now? Three. You, you hold your Did you disappear? Your face, which is also how you swing a weapon. But the problem with that is that whenever your arms are up, you automatically lock on and focus on one particular enemy that you can't decide and move towards them without any way to turn around. So what ends up happening is you get attacked from behind because you don't have eyes in the back of your head. Unless you're me. Which then means you need to hold your arms up to protect yourself whenever any enemies are around. Meaning you can't control your movements when you need to pick up an important item or weapon after the current one breaks and then you reach the enemy and it's just another round of happy slaps until bad you fall down. Sure, they did think about this a little <laughs> bit because you can swear. raise your right hand above you to auto move you to the next destination. But why on earth would you want to do that? First of all, it's boring. Second of all, it means there's no point playing it yourself. Thirdly, you can't explore. Fourthly, Rise of Nightmares isn't scary. Fifthly, Rise of Nightmares isn't good. Sixthly, Rise of Nightmares isn't good. Recalculating. Seventhly, at least it isn't as recalculating. Bad as one of the worst reviewed games on the Kinect. Recalculating. Steel Battalion. Connect oh my god! Has its hardcore game. Oh man, where's my director? I remember so this. this being one of the worst reviewed games of all time on the Connect. I'm not gonna go that hard on Steel but Battalion. But I fucking loved even it. Though the game goes hard because on the color brown. First of all, I'm grateful you. It have was to sit so down hyped this and one. so bad. Thank you. But more importantly, the atmosphere here as it tries to make you feel like you're cramped inside a multi-person walking battle tank surrounded by endless death and intense warfare is absolutely spot on. The characters are surprisingly great when compared to other modern war games. It's loud, it's stressful, it's claustrophobic, and it's claustrophobic. <laughs> This thing needs to read every precise body yeah, movement. Yeah, see, I remember, I remember a lot of the um. <clears throat> A lot of the anger at this with Steel Battalion is was it isn't this the game series where Steel Battalion is like um wasn't that the series where another game where you could have like a whole ass station basically of just uh controllers it was like it was a whole setup it was Steel Battalion made for Steel Battalion specifically I think and I remember seeing it on sale maybe for like 600 bucks or something like that 
It was like it was a whole setup. You had like a whole controllers, buttons, like everything. It, it looked like the inside of one of the um, tank mech thingies. Whatever you want to call them. But yeah, I remember that. And I think that's part of the reason why a lot of people were very upset. <laughs> Because I think I think like a lot of people of war, really loved it before the connect. Oh God, oh Jesus! A seal battalion essentially demands from you the impossible. Want to know why? Because everything on the screen here is important. This thing, that thing, that button, this knob, that knob, this knob. Hello. Everything here serves a very important purpose, and you need to raise specific hands in specific places to enter specific side menus and touch specific buttons in those yeah, specific I'm look side it up. menus. Hold on. While specific bullets fly through your specific I, face. I need to see sworn. where you're going. There's a hand movement for it. Need to step back and check your ammo count. There's a hand movement for it. Need to protect your team from bullets entering the cockpit. There's a hand movement for it. Need to go into aim mode. There's a specific yeah, again, in a by the way, again, the when you're sitting this is another one of the games where it was so bad it was good because of the content that came out of it. Like, I enjoyed the content because of how bad it was. It was one of those things. A specific distance away from the front window. You also have to check out your crew by swiping all around the cabin, and you need to stand up occasionally, and you need to fly. This is simply way too much for the poor little Connect to handle, and this game does not go easy on you. It's do or die with no help in between. You're in control of a walking tank in a war. Good luck, tweens. But that's not all, because the game also requires constant use of the controller to move, aim, and shoot the tank, which not only makes me question. Okay, I Why think this can't is I just it. use the controller? But also, this makes the Kinect figuratively poo itself because if you're sitting there holding a controller. Yeah, okay, so hand... there's like an Xbox Steel Battalion techie controller, including the game. Alright, this is a Japanese version, but it like it came in its own special like box case thing. It had pedals, it had um joysticks, it had a whole shit ton of buttons, levers. It like it had the whole fucking setup for being inside of one of those things. And to this day, it's still like on average uh around 300 bucks, 300 to 400 bucks for the whole thing. Like and then they did it on the Connect. For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake are too close together and the tracking has an anxiety attack meaning a load of this happens when the game demands precision and quick reactions when everything works as intended which is rare steel battalion is extremely immersive and satisfying to play if a little bit hard i did manage to get through the first story mission on my first try and it felt great to do that but that was only 20 percent of what i managed to play the rest is a total mess <laughs> Man, oh my god. I got a fist bump from the Winfield Powers. Yeah, and I got to give a the, chest rub to Natch. The amount of jokes that were made from that one interaction. Hello? What's that? You've got another Connect game for me? Great. Which one is it? Sonic Free Riders. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you were all waiting anxiously for this one. Another you? one, one, yeah. Another I one, I know. Heard a single positive thing about. Oh god, this fucking song. All right, for I got, I just gotta say, I just gotta say before we get into this, that fucking song when this when the Connect first came out and this first came out, and the amount of times I heard this goddamn song, the. It like it haunted me in my fucking nightmares. I just it's like it's not it's not whether I love the song or hate the song. It was everywhere. It was fucking everywhere. Like I could I couldn't escape it when it first came out. I couldn't escape it. I love the content that came out because of this game. It was very entertaining to watch other people get tortured by this game. But that fucking song followed me everywhere. <laughs> That's a good one, you 
What a nice intro this is. Truly, I'm grateful, because if you leave the screen or sit down for any reason, this little Johnny up here disappears and the whole game pauses. And no matter how much I tried, this cutscene is unskippable. So for the first minute and a half of the game, you are stuck just standing there waiting for a video to end like you're waiting for a bus, but instead of it eventually taking you to the high street, you're taken to one of the worst racing games ever made. I was able to get by every single one of the tutorial missions with absolutely no problem though. First time a attempt on all fronts actually but you know you're in for a good time when the little man telling you that you're perfectly visible from the connect turns from chirpy white to sad uh, red after the intro ends it didn't matter what well, i did what lighting conditions i used what distance i was from the sensor what space i left myself even resetting the game and trying again during the intro it was happy as larry but during the game it was piss off and you know what maybe that is what caused this game to be virtually unplayable maybe it was my end that was the problem Except it most certainly wasn't because I recalibrated the damn thing three times and it knew exactly where I was every single time. And yeah. more importantly, the menus worked absolutely flawlessly for me. Look, I've got no issue at all with any of this stuff. It knew what direction my feet were standing, it knew every time I did a jump, and I could even clean steam off of the screen with my hands perfectly. But leaning my body slightly backwards to turn a corner? Oh, no way, hose. That's far too much for this little puppy to handle. We can't turn any corners here. What do you think this is, a racing game? The best position I could come after three races was fifth. Sonic Free Riders Racing doesn't work. How many more ways can Sonic I say that? It murders your back with all the leaning. It hurts your legs with how high you have to jump for it to register. It hurts your <laughs> arms with all the flailing you've got to do. If you really just desperately want to ache, go outside and run into a wall. Oh it's my free. God. Sonic Free Riders is simply a grim experience from the now, second that it starts when the thing song screams its lungs out or was that a neighbor's you brick start a race and That's you slip the a disc. Not even the menu's audio tracking works. Just watch this. I'm saying the word next and the connect knows i'm saying the word next because it's lighting up right there and in fact here is me using the microphone feature on disneyland just so you can see that it does indeed work okay here we go park map tomorrowland astro blasters but on Sonic Free Riders, like some stubborn Not the toddler, it hears me but just refuses to do anything else oh yeah you can say next i heard that Great! At this point, <laughs> I'm fed up, I'm exhausted, and I'm just about ready to throw in the towel. But there is one game I'm missing, isn't there? One very special game in particular. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> well, I did want to end this video with a right old bang, so what better way to do that than with possibly the most infamous Kinect game ever made? I vividly remember the excitement <laughs> surrounding this one. Yep. I mean, stop and think about it for a second. I it's definitely a Star remember Wars this game one. That uses your arms to control the again, action, which meant force again. powers with your again. The content that was made because of this game is just iconic. Like, I don't know about the game, but the content because of the game arms and more importantly lightsaber swinging but that's not all people were excited about because along with dirty lies the video game there are also <laughs> four additional main games to play through whoa i suppose we'd better start off with the one they actually showed off though that being jedi destiny Ooh. but who do i pick from this classic lineup of characters it's a problem to decide do i pick ara borota Zitara Man, Tren Alva, Fenella Druce. <laughs> Fenella Druce. No, I know exactly who to pick. Da Singe. Da goddamn Singe. Ah, who are you? <laughs> I'm Dar Singe. Dar Singe. <laughs> and that's a bit of a problem because I'm not ready for them. I'm only a trainee Jedi. Ready for it. And how am I going to fight the dark side if I can't even avoid a metal sphere shooting me in the bum bum? Feel the force flow between you and the pedestal. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling the Fortnite the force, moves yeah. at it again. Now, what is the one thing everyone loves about the Star Wars movies? That's right. 
Water. The lightsaber oh, battles. Oh, fuck off. Magnetic, fast-paced, passionate, intricate, and all of that is captured perfectly in Star Wars Connect as you stand still and move your hand every so often to block attacks, after which you push the enemy back and then pretend to haphazardly paint a fence in order to attack back. Those are all the lightsaber battles are, and I know this because the Jewels of Fate game mode is nothing but lightsaber battles, and it's the exact same thing as this. I need to see your ID, Star Wars Connect, because I've got to know if you have a license to thrill. Anyway, after about <laughs> 10 minutes of Jedi training, we're ready to take down the Sith, so off we go with Yoda and crew to save the Wookiees. Time of trials is time of danger. Great hope in you, we have. <laughs> That's the worst Yoda impression I've ever heard. It's not even close. <laughs> Say the same for you. We once did. Hello, I'm Yoda. Nice to meet you, it is. Now we have to, wow, learn how to bad, run, jump, it? kick, and sidestep in the Wookiee's training grounds. And I've got to be honest, the delay in the Kinect trying to read when I stop leaning forward is probably the best thing about the game because it means I'm able to perform the very basic action of moving forward and stopping at the right times whenever I want to without any issues at all. Your strength comes from the Force. Control it, you will. Feisty one, you are. Wow, I get to move <laughs> rocks with my hand and throw them at other rocks? This is what the Kinect was made for. I'm a true Jedi. After this, we're then given Lovely. eight minutes of pretending to steer a speeder through the trees, occasionally pulling back in order to avoid getting shot at, and then carrying on. That's it. Nothing else happens here for eight entire minutes, aside from the greatest line of dialogue I've heard from any game ever. Trees! <laughs> Hey Yoda, where do birds live? Trees! What's paper made from? Trees! What in the Amazon rainforest was cut down up to 7 billion times last year and is a contributing factor to an environmental crisis? Trees! And after this yep. is when you discover yep. what the rest of Jedi Destiny Trees. is all about. Standing still and airing Trees. out your pants. This single movement solves all of your problems. Sure, you can be strategic by using the force can to I get knock a tree? out multiple opponents, or do jumping smash attacks for wide-reaching damage, but why bother with any of that when this single movement is able to deflect every bullet that's fired at you, bounce them back at your enemies, and then make you automatically fly towards every enemy and slice them into pieces. The only time I had to think here was when I was being blocked, at which point you just need to jump in the air to get behind the enemy and start waxing on and waxing off all over again. And the other game modes aren't anything to write home about either. You've got the boring Jewel of Fates mode, which I've already discussed, pod racing, which is basically just that speeder segment in the trees from earlier, but just more uncontrollable and more unplayable. But the trees! Rancor Rampage, which is honestly just dull, even though every single family on screen is dying horribly. All of them, <laughs> everyone you see here, every person, all of them. Perished. But that's not the problem. It's repetitive. Who would have thought that genocide would be repetitive? Sure, you have <laughs> missions to complete, like throw a person a certain distance but or what land about on the top trees? of a person. What the but you don't need to think, really. Just do this and you'll be set. Stomp around like a big baby. Wave your arms in the air like you actually care a little bit. And watch in horror as this family-friendly Star Wars game included a mode where you literally eat a father of four after stepping all over his house. Just don't bother trying to charge, though. The game seriously does not work when you try it. I am I'm really trying to make it work. What do you want me to do, game? I'm copying the movement. I look like I'm trying to start a car from the 1930s. Why can't I make this thing charge? <laughs> but all of this, this isn't why you stayed this long into the video, was it? Because there's one more game mode on Star Wars Connect that we just have to talk about. Is it trees? And it is known as Galactic Dance Off. <laughs> this, yeah, this is the one. That I saw fucking everywhere. Do you th like like it's crazy? It's crazy that the Star Wars Connect game has what was it like four different modes of gameplay you can do, and this one is what I saw fucking everywhere, everywhere. Like, if you didn't know better, you would think the Star Wars Connect was literally just the dancing thing and nothing else. Because that's how. That, oh, it was crazy, but funny. I think Harrison Ford knows about this. Do you think he likes this? <laughs> Do you think he did the motion capture for it? Even though I knew exactly what was coming when I clicked on this game, I still didn't know how to react to it when it came <laughs> on screen. That is how Cat much is, of a culture is, shock is, this shit it. is. But you know what? 
It's the best working part of the entire game. It seems to know how well your Honestly, body is copying most of See the what moves, I mean? And it's hilarious. Oh, it's fun. Shut up. <clears> they took <throat> the song Hollaback Girl and changed it to Hologram Girl with Sebulba on the front. Get a sense of humor. In fact, the only thing that stopped me from playing any more of this is one simple fact. I can't dance to save my life. Those famous <laughs> Bigfoot tapes are not real, and I'll tell you why. Because they were filming me. But hey, at least my girlfriend <laughs> Keris can dance, so she took over the second I gave up. And she will do anything for a till of the hand. <laughs> so, uh... Let's answer my question from the very start of this video. Is the Kinect a giant laughing stock because of the Kinect itself? Or because of the games it was stuck with? Well... If Galactic too Dance much Off connect. of all things works perfectly on too the Star much. Wars disc, it's yet too nothing much. else does, I think the answer is pretty obvious. Throughout this extensive voyage it, of mine, I'm it's too much to connect because honestly, just playing one of these Connect games is. Oh boy, <sighs> it is mind breaking, exhausting on an emotional level. <laughs> And physical. <laughs> but all of these? Yeah, no. No. I really found myself surprised by the camera on more than one occasion. Whether it be with Connect Sports and Connect Adventures, Pixar Rush, The Gunstringer, or galactic dance off <laughs> i think i can definitively <laughs> state right <laughs> here and now that now. this is indeed not the camera's fault entirely that the connect has become a massive <laughs> joke it is not perfect don't misquote me there but based on what i played the technology is definitely there and nearly 11 years later it still manages to function extremely well when it wants to and a few times dare i say i thought connect was the ideal way to play some of these games but overall that means nothing when that was only 15 percent of my entire time playing with the thing. The few games that work well may be lovely, but the majority of the Kinect's library was built on fake lying demonstrations and cash grab franchises more interested in making a quick buck than actually spending the time to figure out how the intricacies of the sensor worked. And you can't go from something like Kinect Adventures to Sonic Freeriders and tell me that <laughs> isn't the case. If it couldn't be better than a controller or at the very least work as well as a controller, then why'd you make it? <laughs> More importantly though, who the hell wants to spend their video game time using their entire body to work it? This is a relaxing pastime, not PE. You want a motion Yeah, connect again, the connect, <laughs> the connect... The <laughs> connect... The connect worked best if it was like some type of like exercise activity. Like, that's what I, where I think it, it worked best. It was like either those, um kind of kitty games you can do for the youngins or if you wanted to uh have some type of exercise routine but make it less boring than just going to the gym that that's where it shined but everywhere else my god no <laughs> i'll give you a motion that's good because i like a bit of brown <laughs> Oh god. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And also follow me on Twitch. Don't worry, it's the same username, I just haven't had time to print out the logo. Special thank you to my executive <laughs> producers from my Patreon page uh, in the description bye -bye. below. And to Zandal, Basil, oh, Blake, Brown, Brianne, the Goblinoid, Karj the Mage, Dave Marshall, oh, David Lopez, Jeff Bungo, Eric Granke, Exopass, mm. Fanny oh, Houdini, Giant oh, Fire and Cole, Heartfire, Infilim, oh, Iron Ninja, Carmen CJ, Kenneth D, Lizzie Lizzie in a Tizzy, Mentally Aroused Backer, Mitchell Reed, Ramen Wolf 1485, <laughs> Red Eyes Critic, Red Spade 83, Skull Man, Slowpunk, Tardis Type 40, The Game Shed, Real Kit Nathaniel, Z Man Enterprises, uh, Daniel and Alex Dingle, Black and the Puppy, Vocal Allegra, NB, Zohaba Med, Astrovex, and I don't know how to pronounce this BXES Saver of Light. Y you let me know how you say it. Stan. Cauliflower is just albino broccoli. <laughs> the side eye. I can see some of the side eye. <laughs> Oh man, another good caddy video, another good caddy video. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I'm i surprised I didn't recognize more than a few of them, but yeah, the some of those I um, remember watching uh, from people I still, some people I still follow to this day because of those Connect games. 
because of the videos, the content they made because of these uh, fucking horrendous horror shows of video games. And you know what? Fair enough. The games were shite, but the content was gold. But yeah, another good caddy video. Let me know um, if there's any preference for a caddy video you guys want me to watch in the future. Because I'm just, I'm literally just going down the list unless I see like more than a few comments for a specific video. So, yeah. But the neighbors, though. What about the fucking neighbors? <laughs>